Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girlfriend Elungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. On this channel, we post reaction videos, and if you want us to react to something, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to react to it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed and we're very very grateful i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed a big shout out to the person that suggested this they suggested i react to do muslims worship the kaaba in mecca and why they kiss the black stone so without wasting time let's get into the video you said in your speech that uh, god is um, alive imageless and formless as stated in hinduism then why Muslims during Hajj pilgrimage, they worship uh, Holy Shrine as a uh, Hindu, they worship? That's a very good question the brother has posed. That if Almighty God has got no image in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no form, then why do the Muslims, they worship the Holy Shrine referring to the Kaaba in Hajj pilgrimage? Brother, it's a misconception. No Muslim ever worship the Kaaba. It's a misconception among the non-Muslims that we Muslims we worship the Kaaba. No Muslim worship the Kaaba. We only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who we cannot see in this world. What we do is that Kaaba is the Qibla. Qibla in Arabic means the direction. Kaaba is the Qibla because we Muslims, we believe in unity. Always unity. For example, if we want to pray to Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we have to offer salah, some may say, let's face the north, some may say, let's face south, some may say east, some may say west. Where do we face? We believe in unity. So for unity, all the Muslims throughout the world, they are asked to face in the direction of the Qibla, that is the Kaaba. It's a direction. We don't worship it. And the first people who do the world map were the Muslims. And when the Muslims do the world map, they do with the South Pole on top and North Pole down. And Kaaba was in the center. The Westerners came and they turned the map upside down. North Pole on top, South Pole down. Alhamdulillah, yet the Kaaba is in the center. Mecca is in the center. And since Mecca is in the center, any Muslim in any part of the world, if he's staying in north of Kaaba, he faces towards the south. If he's staying in the south of Kaaba, he faces towards the north. All the Muslims throughout the world, they face in one direction. Kaaba is the Qibla, it's the direction. No Muslim ever worships it. And when we go for Hajj, to the pilgrimage, we circumambulate around the Kaaba. We circumambulate around the Kaaba because everyone knows that all circles have only one center. So we circumambulate around the Kaaba to testify that there is only one God. Not because we worship it. And the statement of the second Khalifa of Islam, Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, he said, it's mentioned in Sai Muslim, in the book of Hajj, volume number two, he said, Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, that I am kissing the black stone, that is the Kaaba, Sangha's word, only because my prophet kissed it. Otherwise, this black stone can neither harm me, neither can it benefit me. The second Khalifa of Islam, Caliph of Islam, Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, he made it clear for eternity that no Muslim ever worship the black stone. It can neither benefit us, Neither can it harm us. And the best example is that during the time of the Prophet, the Sahaba, the companion of the Prophet, they even stood on the Kaaba and gave the Azan. Azan is a call for prayers. People stood on the Kaaba and gave the Azan. I am asking you, which idol worshipper will ever stand on the idly worships? So these are sufficient proof that no Muslim ever worship the Kaaba. Kaaba is the Qibla and we worship only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who we cannot see with eyes. Hope that's a big shout out to the person that um, suggested this because I think they were responding to something that I asked as concerning why people have to go around the black st the Kaaba and all that. So this thing of I wonder if I'm thinking a lot of things right now. I'm just wondering if there's still um, a reservation of the way the map was back then because i think at this point we should know that the map that we use now 
is not what it seems there was one before that and i would just love to see how that map was actually drawn and if it's all about direction there's nothing wrong to guide people that this is the direction you should face when you pray if that's what your religion um suggests or would like you to do it's very very interesting that no matter where you are in the world you're going to face a certain direction and i think that's just a powerful uh thing for a powerful thing that people do that's just powerful in my opinion at least that's what i think i don't know what you guys think for people to be doing the same things all around the world that's very very impressive and like i said a big shout out to the person that suggested this let me know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video